Hey everybody, John Foss, very excited to be talking with Amy Hall. We're talking about Florabama Shores, which airs Thursdays at seven on MTV. Brand new season, you guys are going to Georgia, and the constant theme that I keep hearing about is unresolved conflict. What are we gonna see? So you'll definitely be seeing our issues worked out. We had to leave Lake Havasu so suddenly because somebody got COVID. So we're just, we're not the type that just can't leave with unresolved issues. So you'll be seeing us work all that out. And that, I will say that that quarantine looked pretty hellish. What was that like? Oh my gosh. It was the worst. I had to spend my Thanksgiving in a room with a cheap bottle of champagne <laughs> <laughs> and not my grandma's cooking. I was so sad. You call yourself the princess goddess mermaid. Where does that name come from? So my mom said I had been calling myself Princess Goddess Mermaid since the first grade. I literally have a plaque where I wrote Princess Goddess Mermaid with some kind of dog on it, but it kind of just stuck. I, I've been calling myself that ever since. No one else really calls me that, but I want <laughs> them to. That's great. And you have a pig this season. How did that happen? And how does that go over with the cast? Um, I do have a pig. His name is Princess Goddess Piggy Tudor May Massengale Hall, a.k.a. PGP. Um, I thought bringing the pig in, it would be really peaceful, but turns out he's a bigger drama queen than I am. Uh, speaking of drama, I mean, the fact that Nielsa has, is super pregnant, how did that go over and uh, did she have the baby? Yes, uh, Gray was born in May, uh, but yeah, she was super pregnant on the show. I felt so bad for her, but you know, she got uh, used to taking care of a bunch of kids because we were super childish and she was the only sober one. What did she think, or what did you guys think when you heard the news that she was engaged? I was so happy for her. You know, Nilsa has always, you know, wanted uh, God to love her and she got the perfect man. How did it go over with Gus? Because obviously in previous seasons, they've had some relationship. Um, Gus, Gus says that he's not upset, that he's happy for her, but who really knows? And speaking of Gus, in the first episode, it seems like there's a lot of angst towards him. What happened to, to make that happen? Because, I mean, it seems like there's, he's pissed some people off. What happened there? Well, I think last season, Gus had a um, pretty hard season, and I think there was just a lot of tension built off that, like, built off, you know, him having a bad season and how he acted last season, but I think that we all have our bad times, so I don't think there's anything wrong with it, you know? We act bad, and then, you know, we learn from it, and I think that that's what he's trying to do. How did Georgia compare to to previous seasons? Did you like it better? Was this the best season, or as far as, like, the area, or, or do you prefer other areas? How did it rank? This was definitely one of my most favorite areas and my favorite vacation just because we're back in the South. First of all, I hate the snow and we were like on a farm. And so I just loved every bit of it. That's awesome. And you guys are so tight. You guys call each other your family. Yes. I talk to everyone at least five times a day. We are crazy close. So we're like brothers and sisters. That's awesome. And a couple of seasons ago, Courtney left the show. Do you guys keep in touch with her? Is she still a part of the family or is, has she kind of moved on? Yeah, I talk to Courtney all the time. You know, Courtney had to work on her mental health and she's doing so much better. She's happy and healthy. And yeah, we love her. Do you know why she decided to leave the show? Um, I think just, you know, being on a show and uh, drinking and stuff just wasn't good for her mental health. And so she decided to leave. But we love Courtney. That's great. And I've only been able to see the first episode. Can you tell us, give us some sneak peeks into some other highlights that we're going to see coming up throughout the season? So I won't give too many, but I'll say that there's some drama with our animals and that me and Cody and Candace and just everyone, we just had so much fun. Like we went on some crazy adventures. Do you know where you'll be filming next season? No, but I hope it's Alabama. <laughs> is that is that where you're from? Is that where you prefer to be? Yeah, you know, we we filmed in Florida. We got the Florida part. Now we need to film in Alabama and get the Bama part. Is there a rivalry there? Because, I mean, you guys are right button right up next to each other. I mean, is that a pretty big rivalry between the two states? I mean, maybe with football, but not really with us, no. 
Amy Hall. Thank you for having me. Appreciate the time. Twin Cities, check out Florabama Shores. It airs Thursdays at 7 here in the Twin Cities. Thanks, Amy. Thank you.